Hi folks, Charles here from U.com. We've heard from a lot of you that you want more control over the sources that U.com uses and cites for your results. I'm excited to walk you through our new advanced source management controls. To get started, tap this plus button in the query bar. First up, you'll see the documents pane. This is where you can upload any files that you want uh, to interact with with AI. So let's go ahead and select. We have a select files interface. You can also just drag and drop files directly from your computer. Um, up to 10 files we currently support, 25 megabytes for those of you on our pro plan and 50 megabyte total size limit for those on the Teams plan. We support a wide range of text, data, code, and image files. Next up is our brand new web controls. So the first thing that you'll see is our enable web access toggle. So this allows users to select whether you want to be uh, integrating live web access with your AI. So if you wanna talk with just the model without any web source being pulled in, you can just toggle that straight off. If you leave it on, as many do wanna pull in real-time information from the web, you have two options. Automatic, where u.com will automatically search the web and pull in relevant source information for you, or advanced, which gives you some very deep level of control over the web information that you pull in. So here we have a search depth setting, a um, couple different options for you here. Quick search works well for most needs. In just a second or two, we'll do a web search and use the result snippets to educate our answer. Deep search takes a bit longer, but reviews the full content of your web sources in real time for very comprehensive and thorough results. And then finally, dynamic, this is a truly intelligent setting that blends the best of both quick and deep. We do a quick search first, analyze if the results are sufficient to answer your query, and if not, we progress to a deep search to get the required information. It's quick when it can be and deep when it needs to be. Next, we have custom web sources. So here you can specify entire domains, sites, or specific web pages that you want u.com to review and use as sources. So let's say here, you know, I'm a biomedical researcher and I want to pull in all of the uh, National Library of Medicine, National Institute of Health, uh, PubMed research repositories. I can add that in a simple click. Once I've added a custom web source, I have another checkbox, which is, do I want you.com to also search the web for additional sources to supplement the sources that I've added here? Um, and if I uncheck this, it will be limited just to those web sources that I've specified. And then last up here is exclusions. So let's say that there's one particular research study that I found that I want to exclude from my results. And so I can add that here and um, you know any number of these sources that I don't want to pop up. Maybe there's some untrustworthy source that keeps popping up in your results or anything that you just don't want to be used as a source. You can add it here to the exclusion list to prevent it from showing up and being used in your results. Finally, let's take a look at the integrations pane. So this is coming soon. You'll be able to link u.com to your Google Drive, Dropbox, SharePoint, um, any other number of cloud services. We wanna make sure that you can bring your data wherever you have it stored, and then we can help you process it and make you more productive. We're also working on building out some premium data sets with a number of partners to enhance and enrich your results this isn't functional quite yet, but please go ahead and tap notify me for anything that you're interested in. And thank you for watching. We hope that these features will help you to get even more value out of you.com.